So I don't know if you guys know this very much, because I haven't really said much on YouTube about it. But I've been really into tubes these days. So this is a, going to be an unboxing of my latest tube amp. The Moon Audio Dragon Inspire IH1, um, IHA1, sorry. Made by Moon Audio and Dennis Had. This is an OTC tube amplifier, which just arrived right now, as you can see, all the way from America. They don't have any dealers here in the UK. So I'm going to be trying this out, gathering my impressions, posting them on my Discord, which is part of the reason why I bought this in the first place, because so many people have hyped this for me on Discord that I had to hear it myself. Now I have heard it before, <clears throat> at CanJam 2016, with the Ilera and Utopia, but I was so new to those headphones at the time that I didn't really know what the amp was doing. Now I have a chance to find out. Hmm. So these are hand built by Dennis Hat, who is what they say a legendary speaker amplifier uh, constructor. Just this is his first headphone amp. This was started. In 2000, the design was finalized in 2014. <clears throat> That's a lot of bubble wrap. And for good reason, this thing is heavy. So what I've done is, you can have different versions. The baseline version is $1,600. I went with the Lundahl Transformers for more power. And then also the pre-outs, uh, pre-amp outs in the back which is another 100, <clears throat> bringing the total to 1950. Um, there are more upgrades with tubes actually that you can get. These involve um, like a hundred dollars each. You can get like higher quality new old stock driver tubes and a rectifier, but I just decided to source those on my own and my options will be coming in a few days. Um, which I bought on eBay. Now this is going to be this part. Huh. I don't want to ruin the bubble wrap because I might reuse it someday. Only available through Moon Audio in the US. I don't even know how many people in the UK have one of these. They did bring them with them. I asked for a review unit earlier, but they said they wouldn't be able to do that because they'd have to make a special one just for me with uh, British voltage, you know, or any <laughs> most places outside of the US voltage. So. That wasn't a possibility, so I decided, you know what, let me sell a few things. I've listed the Lear 2 and of some other stuff. Let me just outright buy it, try it out. If I like it, cool. If I, if I think it's just alright and I find something else that's more affordable and near the same amount of performance, then I can just sell this and keep that. But like I said, this thing has been hyped so much for me from so many people who disagree on other things even all on this board which I do recommend that you join at this point because a lot of my impressions just end up on there these days and my review output has been quite lacking hmm I'll just have to cut through all this I'll buy more bubble wrap someday it's like I do appreciate this packaging though. <laughs> this is needed, especially today because it's actually raining outside. 
UPS guy was wearing a special, I'm uh, sorry, not UPS, uh, um, whatever delivery guy was wearing a special raincoat with their logo on it. For good reason, it's pouring you know, cats and dogs outside. Alright, almost there. So output transformer coupled. That's what this amplifier is compared to the Elise, which I've been using by Felix Audio, which is output transformer less. That has a rather high output of impedance of 40 or 50 ohms, which I have been sort of hearing with the Utopia. Not as bad as I imagined, but I'll talk about that more in the review. So, this should be quieter, and with the Lundahl transformers, this should be able to be used with. If I had any planars, they should be no issue at all. Except for the, you have to always mention the HE6, which is just, I don't even know. So this actually shares, you can use the same driver cues that you can use on the Elise on this, which is cool because uh, I have some already, some spares, which I'll be trying out, so that saves me a bit of money. Not too much though, because I went there and bought some more anyway. That finish is spectacular in person. I've seen photos and it looks nice, but in person, wow. It's a nice deep red. have here the tubes got the rectifier right here uh, JJ electronic made in Slovak Republic and you have the two driver tubes which I believe are electro harmonics hmm I don't know. The website's at Electroharmonics, so they could have switched them out, I'm not sure, but these are the this is the basic option that you'd be getting if you don't want to upgrade the tubes to factory or you don't want them to send you better tubes essentially. Let me just pick this up and pull this off. Unboxing this on camera. I'm sorry, this is no utopia. It's not a fancy box, this is just a lot of, a lot of plastic wrap. Alright, plastic wrap is done. Now we can look at this thing. So it's quite cold right now, understandably. Alright, so like I said, the finish looks so much nicer in person got that wow it's not quite just clear red it's like huh it's quite heavy about 15 pounds of weight in the front you have the writing which says inspired by Dennis Had levels source select this as you can plug two sources in at the same time an on off switch now, even though you see four pins right here it's not balanced, it's uh, single-ended all throughout and through, but they do have a four-pin output and a single-ended output for a quarter inch. Two driver tubes go here, rectifier goes here, and let's look at the back. Carefully 
turning it around. All right, so you've got the two inputs on the far right, two RCA inputs. You've got the pre-out in the middle. You've got the selector between the two. I'll be trying to preamp with this too. I've ordered some RCA cables just for this new that I've been using balanced XLR cables for my uh, studio monitors. I'll be switching to these, this amplifier to see what's up. And you've got rubber feet on the bottom and you've got Dennis signing his work with a gold marker, which I haven't seen in a very long time. All right, that's been uh, my unboxing of the Dragon Inspire IHA-1 too. Uh, IHA-1, yeah. So I'm gonna go plug this in now, I'm quite excited to get it. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I just woke up, so that's why it doesn't seem like I'm all that excited, but I really am. I'll go plug it in now, thank you for watching this rather crude unboxing, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.